So, superheroes. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> wait. Hold on. Cut. <laughs> Okay, we're good now. Superheroes, are you ready for day two? Challenge number two. Yep. Okay, here Wait. is our mission email. We are fighting Mr. Germworm. Mr. Germworm spoils the world's water, but his time is up. Captain Cool and Mr. Fuego have gained some top secret information. They need your superness for the water challenge. Mr. Germworm has been making water worse for kids and families all around the world even for fellow superheroes like Everlyn and Zambia. You'll have to show Mr. Germworm that it's way better to be a good guy than a bad guy. How will this be possible, you ask? By flexing a new superpower, empathy, the ability to understand how someone feels. Gain empathy by completing your very own Chocstacle course, where you'll learn just how hard it is for kids like Everlyn to get to water. So we're gonna look at our day two instructional packet says, Dr. Dream Basher boasts of bad water. Mean minion Mr. Germworm makes moisture mucky. Vile villains violate Everlyn's water. Let's see what it says here. Oh, here's a cartoon. So today we're learning about fellow superhero Everlyn. Does she has to walk a lot because she doesn't have running water in her home. Do you know what running water is? Yes. What's running water? Water! No, running water is like, you know how we go to the sink and we turn it on and water just comes out? That's running water. So if someone doesn't have running water, where do you think they have to get their water? From a different place. Yeah, not inside their house, huh? It says, every day she walks four whole hours just to get water for her family. So do you remember when we drove to vacation this summer? Mm -hmm. We drove all the way to our vacation. The amount of time we were in the car, that's four hours. So she has to walk that much time every day just to get water, because she doesn't have any running water by her house or in her house. That takes a big chunk of her time, which could otherwise be spent in school, at church, or playing with her friends. What's worse, because of Mr. Germworm's evil deeds, her water isn't even clean. Sometimes it makes her and the rest of her family sick. This fellow superhero needs our help. Let's show Mr. Germworm that it's more fun to be a hero than a villain. So today's quest is the water challenge. So it says we're going to need chalk, one cup, and two buckets. So I think we're gonna do this one outside. Okay. So we're kind of dodging rain here today. So the driveway's a little bit wet, but we're gonna make this work. I'm gonna have Isaiah hold the um, paper for me so I can see what it's supposed to look like, and then I'm gonna draw with the chalk, and Abigail's gonna hold the chalk for me. So we're gonna, we'll get this drawn and we'll be back. Okay, so we have our course all set up. Here's how it's going to work. Each of you gets a cup. You're gonna take turns. When it's your turn, you have to jump onto each spot and do what it says, so Isaiah's gonna demonstrate. So you're gonna jump on to hop, and then you have to hop, because that's what it says. And then the next one says, spin, and then left and right. That says whistle. Why can I not whistle? That's okay. <laughs> Go, woo! <laughs> Why can I not Okay, whistle? close enough. And the next one says, double jump, hop, spin, double, you didn't double jump. I you jumped once and you jumped onto the next one. Double jump. I did double jump. Jump, jump, hop, turn around. Now you gotta take your cup and you're gonna fill it with water from here. Now you have to do all those things going back without spilling your water because you're gonna try to get all of this water into that bucket. You're kidding. So you gotta turn around. <laughs> No, no, you don't have to do it backwards. Just turn around. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then hop. <laughs> double jump. What? Double jump. Spin. <laughs> Spin. <laughs> that was <sad>. Hop. <laughs> double jump. That was not a jump. Yes, it was. I jumped. Whistle. There, I can start And then left and right. Spin, <laughs> so hard. hop, and then jump onto the start, and then you pour your cup in there, <sighs> and then it's Abigail's turn. <laughs>
All right, let's let's take a look at how this is filling up here so far. We have less than an inch. Like less than an inch of water in there. Let's see how much there is to go over here. Just taking a look. Oh, yep, it's pretty much mostly still all there. How long do you think it would take you to get all of this water over there? Hours. So it's raining, um, cause obviously it would rain on the water day, uh, but they're still going. It's just sprinkling. It shouldn't rain for very long. And then I'm gonna do a little extra bit of um, kind of talking about some stuff, and then we'll move on. So this isn't in the like the information, but I kind of had a an idea of something else I wanted to do. So I filled the buckets halfway. We're gonna walk over to this little pond in our neighborhood, and I want to show you guys something. But you each have to carry the buckets over there. So carry your bucket over to the pond. Here we go. To the pond. To the pond. Also, you can't spill any of it. So you got to be careful. How's it going? Yeah, I want to. Come on. We got to make it to the pond. Let's go. <laughs> We've almost made it to the pond. How's it going? <laughs> I haven't spilled any of my water yet. I don't think you have, no. Okay, you made it all the way to the pond. Now I'm gonna give one cup to Isaiah. Now I get to try the pond. One cup to Abigail. Isaiah, I want you to carefully fill that cup with water from the pond. Figure out the best way to do that. You can go around to the other side or whatever. Just put water from the pond in that cup. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay. Okay, go, go do that. And put it in here? No, what I want you to do is fill your cup with water from our bucket, because this is water from our house, okay? And then we're gonna look at them. Oh, there's a difference. I already see it. Mm -hmm. So comparing our running water to the pond water, which would you rather drink? I think that would be the best bet. Even out of the dirty bucket, I'd still rather drink that one. Now, you guys know how hard it was to carry your half buckets yeah. full all the way over here. Now imagine if you had to do that, but the only water you were getting Yuck. was this water. Yeah. That wouldn't be very fun, would it? No. No. Especially if you had to carry that water for four hours. <laughs> yeah. So, I say we dump out our buckets, we walk back to the house, and let's learn about our empathy badge, because I think you've learned some empathy today. What do you think? <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's go back to our instructional guide. It says, this is from Captain Cool and Mr. Fuego. You did it. You gained the superpower of empathy and brought Mr. Germworm to our side. Incredible, impactful, insanely cool. You've just done three things. Number one, you've seen what daily life is like for Everlyn and her family and you've shown empathy one of the biggest superpowers you can have. You've shown Mr. Germworm that it's much more fun to be a hero than a villain, and because of that, he has split from Dr. Dream Basher. And number three, you've earned the clean water badge for your hero cape. Wear that badge with pride. Let's see your badge. Huh? Where's your badge? Right here. Oh, <laughs> it's a hidden badge. <laughs> Come and take a look at my badges. <laughs> Excellent choice. Part of earning the prayer badge, today's daily quest is thinking of others and being empathetic is something that God really loves from his superheroes. He wants you to love others like he loves you. Think, how would your day change if you always had to do an obstacle course to get your water? Big time. It would change a lot, huh? And then pray for the millions of kids around the world who need clean water. Ask God to bring them clean water and ask for Jesus to be their living water. Remember to also pray for your special pal in Uganda. Who's our special pal? Junior. 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 Good job, guys. Hey, wait, guys. <laughs> I love it. Now let's watch our, um, our end mission before my computer dies. The Orange Cape Society sends its congratulations on a quest well quested. Day two is behind you, and you've done some amazing things. You learned what it's like to go through obstacles for water, just like Everlyn, and gained the amazing superpower, empathy. Okay, I want high fives. Awesome job, guys. That's a high foot. No, no <laughs> high feet. No high <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job learning empathy. Let it move. Let it move. Let it move.